plotting. We are back now with a change in a law many civil rights groups are applauding. If you get pulled over for a minor traffic violation, authorities can seize your property even if they believe it was connected to a crime. It's called civil asset forfeiture, and investigative reporter Chris Horn is here to explain this important change. And Chris, we hear about the seizures all the time in criminal cases. What's the difference here? Well, Anita, we found cases where no criminal conviction was involved whatsoever. What? Civil liberties groups called the old law one of the worst and most oppressive in the nation. Instead of a system where you were innocent until proven guilty, your property was guilty until proven innocent. Now you have a better chance of getting it back. Danielle Good and her mother Janet King want to get their stuff back. I've not been charged with anything. I, you know, m neither has my mother. So it's. It's ridiculous, it really is. After Danielle's husband was arrested on a drug charge, Virginia Beach police seized cars and other property. I would just like my things back that are in my name and my mother's name that had no involvement in this case. Among the items, a 2003 Audi A4 that King had purchased from her daughter and son-in-law. Good says police also seized $2,500 in cash. 2,000 of it actually came from my mother who had paid for her Audi um, five days prior to the seizure. So um, I know exactly where that money came from. Good and King's case occurred when the old asset seizure law was still in effect. Virginia lawmakers changed it July 1st. The new language tips the scales more in your favor as a citizen as opposed to the old system. Before, the standard for police to seize money or assets was the preponderance of the evidence. In other words, it could be just more than half. Attorney Sonny Stallings doesn't represent good, but knows the hassle she has had to go through. They had to spend money on a lawyer. I cannot afford an attorney. How do I prove something that they're asking me to prove when I don't know what to prove? We checked hundreds of seizure records, and often the amounts aren't high enough per case to justify hiring an attorney. If you had, say, a thousand bucks seized, it wasn't worth it to pay two thousand in legal fees to get it back. It was among the worst, and I, I frankly think it was a revenue-driven law. I think police departments, localities were getting a lot of money on this, so why stop? Uh, they make traffic stops and find a bundle of cash in the trunk. That all goes to the state. So the money started to pile up for local courts, including Virginia Beach. The city seized more than $600,000 in the past fiscal year. Some is in litigation, but so far none of it has been returned. In Suffolk, by comparison, Authorities seized nearly $95,000. Suffolk returned more than $21,000 to its original owners. The rest was shared by the police department and the Commonwealth's attorney's office. Suffolk PD uses the seized money for equipment and training. The citizens shouldn't be in a position to have to justify the money in their pocket. As of July 1st, you have more rights. The Commonwealth now has the burden of proving by clear and convincing evidence that the property is subject to forfeiture. Stalling says he can now be more encouraging when a client has had money seized. I could sit here and tell them you don't have to prove where the money came from. They got to prove it's illegal. And you know, even under the new Virginia law, you still don't have to be convicted of a crime to have cars, cash, TVs, or any other property seized. We have full details on wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.